Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Imponte Beta Dukes which was released with a summertime DLC special and uh, yeah, it's an Imponte Dukes at the end of the day, just a beaten up version of it. Maybe we might get some uh, different type of customization. who knows, um, but we're going to buy it anyway for $378,000 so not very expensive at all to be honest and um, you know, I'm not a massive fan of the Dukes in the game. I think, even though I love the Dodge Charger from this era, like the 1970s Charger, this is, I don't know, it's something about it which I can't put my finger on it, but I just don't like it. It's, I don't know. It's, even though it looks similar to a Charger, I can't see it as a Charger, if that makes sense. It, it just looks too big. And, I don't know, it's just the fitment and the wheels and, and everything that just ties it all together. It just doesn't feel right for me. Um, but... Regardless of all that, we are going to be purchasing the Imponte Beta Dukes. Maybe there's some different customization options for it, but who knows? We're about to find out. So you go, my dudes, as you pull into other customs, you'll see the Imponte Beta Dukes is obviously in the muscle category. It wouldn't be anywhere else, would it? And yeah, like I said, man, <laughs> cable ties at the front, a crumpled hood, crumpled fenders, ripped interior, and uh, oh, we've got a wing mirror missing as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just. That's just a monst monster of a car. It's fucking huge. Uh, it's that big. I can't even turn the uh, or rotate the camera any further than that. Uh, but, but anyway, guys, uh, enough of me yapping. Let's get on with the build. So as always, we're going to start with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. Front bumpers. So we get the splitters at the bottom. Oh, hang on. There we go. Ah, oh, so is that fixed it? Repaired stock bumper. I don't understand why you'd want to repair it, to be fair. I mean, if you're going to buy this over the other Duke. But then again, this has got different options. This is different op options to splitters. We don't have all these on the original Dukes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we don't have that for a start. Or this, the custom splitter. I actually like that, man. That looks pretty cool. Let's go with a custom splitter. And it fixes the grill as well. Awesome. But then again, if you like the beaten up look, or if you want a car which is beaten up for whatever reason, maybe like a to rat it out, this would be one of them um, one of them cars to do it with. As, you know, as long as you get a rusted livery to go with it. But anyway, moving on, we'll go go to the engine and grab the level four engine upgrade. Then the exhausts. Yeah, man, we've got loads more options for exhausts. I'm pretty sure we don't have all these for the original Dukes. So this is basically just a, a uh, updated or upgraded version of the Dukes because we're getting so many more options but that rear bumper is still all mangled hopefully we can sort that out so there's some really nice options for the exhaust man love the way they look I like them the square dual exhaust man they look mean as fuck then we're gonna go to the fenders so you can repair the fenders as well nice let's do that and then you can also get the repaired flared fenders I actually like them man they look much better than the uh, the stand ones let's go with that then we're gonna go to the grill we got a crown grill this is new as well definitely don't get this with the dukes nice and then the dash grill the billet grill and then the zip grill man there's some awesome options for this that look really nice i'm actually really digging the billet grill let's go with it then we could go to the hood so we've got all these hood scoops with the damaged version of it but then we can repair it there we go and we'll get the same options again but with a repaired hood i'm actually digging this car man looks all right and some really nice options um for the hood too. I'm not going to go with one of these bug catchers. I think they're, you know, a um, bit overdone. Same with the twin turbos, even though they look, they look pretty mean um, coming out of the hood like that, especially with the hood catches that we've got on there as well. Uh, we're going to go with uh, this shaker hood. I think that looks really nice. Then we're going to go to the lights. We're going to grab the Xeon headlights. Obviously, we get a livery. It wouldn't be a brand new uh, GTA car if we don't get a livery. So you can rust it. So that was a, uh, is an option if you'd like to go with a ratted look. But as you can see, we've got a gloss paint on at the moment. So if you do go with this, you are going to have to go and grab a matte color to uh, make that look a little bit more authentic. Uh, we've got that in primed. 
and then we've got a rusted flames rusted graffiti another rusty one junkyard loads of rusty ones man then we've got the white stripes black stripes uh then we've got the same but with flames inside that's different man i don't think we've ever seen anything like that on this game outside of bennies that is we might have something similar to that in bennies but that looks pretty cool i'm actually digging that and then you've got the flames as standard look at that old school flames and then we've got the checkered flag and then we're going into race liveries uh, then we get louvers nice sprint louvers dash louvers race louvers and then the sports louvers that's awesome man i love the customization for this uh, i think the sprint louvers actually look really good so i'm gonna go with the sprint louvers then we've got the mirrors so like i said at the beginning we do have one missing at the moment and you can get the oval the squared the cone or the circular loving the circular let's go over so now we're going to go to the respray we're going to go primary color we're going to go metallic and i thought i'm going to use a color i don't think i've ever used before straw brown it's very old school looking and i think it actually suits this car really well so yeah straw brown metallic for the primary secondary color also metallic as you can see it is going to change the front grille uh, so if we do that the same color as the primary see what happens that actually doesn't look too bad to be fair so then we get an option for the roll cage so we can clean the interior which is pretty cool uh, then we've got the roll cage and chassis chassis, <laughs> chassis upgrade <laughs> don't know what happened to my voice then i went all sean connery on you uh, then we get the stunt cage street cage oh, i'm loving the street cage man that looks awesome get some nice bucket seats in there as well uh, the track cage and it dodges the dash as well which i love the roll cages which you know sink into the dashboard just look fucking weird and i hate it but track cage looks awesome nice bucket seats in there as well you can get the same but with a padded cage um yeah man ah uh, there the, that's the roll cage i hate you see where it sinks into the dashboard i really don't understand that it's horrible looks ugly uh but we're gonna go with uh i don't know i'm gonna go with a street cage i like the look of that then we've got a roof option we've got a painted roof which looks cool as fuck it looks awesome and the same as the original dukes you get to put a flag on the top which is also awesome but for me i'm just gonna go with a painted roof so then we're gonna move on to the spoilers pretty nice amount of uh, spoilers we've got here to choose from so we've got the angled spoiler and carbon same carbon there as well the ducktail and just a black and the street spoiler i'm actually digging that it looks pretty cool uh bolted dovetail which looks awesome drag spoiler looks awesome as well loving the look of that um yeah man let's go to drag spoiler that looks mean suspension what does competition suspension saying it doesn't even really drop that much to be fair so i'm gonna go with competition suspension transmission we're gonna get the race transmission and obviously the turbo tuning for the wheels the wheels look awesome on this man as it is and that back wheel is meaty i think that's another thing as well with this car compared to the original dukes the fitment of the wheels just looks you know a, a lot better because you find that the the dukes the original one the og dukes is the fitment of the wheels the wheels just always look tiny because the car's so massive the tire uh, the tires and the wheels just look so concaved inside the car arch and they just look a lot smaller than what they do on this the size of the wheels actually look pretty good on this and the stock wheels look awesome don't think i'm even going to change them which i'm not i mean they're unique i don't think i've seen any other car with these wheels before and um you know any sort of aftermarket wheel that i choose isn't going to look as good as these in my opinion so i'm just going to stay stock for the wheels whilst we're here you might as well grab the bulletproof tires because we are in uh <laughs> santos after all and not having bulletproof tires is uh a disaster waiting to happen then we do get an option for wheelie bar so we've got the repaired rear bumper i was hoping that was going to happen because i was a little bit concerned that we weren't going to get a rear bumper option but yeah rear bumper repaired and then you get the same with a wheelie bar and the same again with a chute uh, but i'm not gonna have any of that i'm just gonna go with the repaired rear bumper and to finish off the build as always you're gonna go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my dudes as you pull out of ls customs you'll see the new impante beta dukes is a massive improvement on the original dukes it is unbelievable i'm so happy to have brought this out actually because i really didn't like um the original dukes there were so many different aspects of it uh the original dukes like i said already about the wheels that was awful you know where the wheels just looked so 
small because the car's so massive uh, the wheels always looked really tiny and that was a real off put for me and also the chrome trim that goes around the arch i'm so happy we can now cover that up and the new splitter editions the new grill editions the new hood editions the new spoilers the new wing mirrors everything on this man it's just so much better even though it's the same shape the customization options that rockstar have now given us for this car is uh you know that's amazing and i don't understand why rockstar has given us a whole new car why don't they just make you know these customization options available for the original duke so i really don't understand why they've done that um but yeah <laughs> we've got a brand new car the beta dukes i'm really happy with this actually and for the price it is definitely worth picking up for just under four hundred thousand dollars i think it's 368 something like that it's definitely worth picking up for that even if it's you know it, even if it just performs the same even the i forgot about the exhaust as well new new options for exhaust these exhausts look awesome and i think that drag spoiler looks really good on this car and i love the way that it looks like we've got a staggered fitment as well where the smaller wheels at the front and massive chunky wheels at the back and it comes with some killer stock stock wheels as well it's still uh, got that awesome Imponte Duke sound. It's still very talky. So, uh, you know, you expect wheel spin. Um, it still feels capable. It still feels quick. And, you know, it's just going to be an improved Imponte Dukes at the end of the day. And it is a much needed improvement because I hated the Dukes before this video. And now I've customized it for the first time. I'm actually loving it. Isn't it funny how a few customization options can change your mind about a car? It is quite unbelievable. Definitely pick this up. It's got to be picked up. If you're a muscle car fan, um, you've got to grab it. If you're an Imponte Dukes fan, this is a must for you guys because uh, you're going to love it. And uh, yeah, I'm overly, overly impressed with this car. Much more impressed than what I am with any generic crappy supercar that rockstar decides to put in the game these cars are much more fun much more fun to customize because you get more customization options as as well uh, so you can kind of make it your own and they don't all end up looking the same i'm actually digging this color on this car as well which is something that i wasn't expecting um don't think i've ever used metallic straw brown before but it looks good it works on this car definitely and i think if you put maybe chrome for the secondary color that would actually look quite nice as well but yeah i'm uh i'm just staggered <laughs> i think this is awesome uh so with that being said guys i am going to end the video there hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios